Right guys, uh, this video is for those who want to understand uh, a little bit about how to use TI-84 or equivalent graphical, uh, graphing calculator. Uh, so there are three questions in this video. All three are based on uh, the graphing calculator. So uh, let's start with this one. So we are given a function, which is a polynomial, a window is given, and we need to find this relative maxima, minima, minima maxima, and increasing interval and decreasing interval. So let's uh, switch to uh, calculator. All right, so if we click on y equal to, and then um, we plot the uh, equation. So that's negative 1.215x cube, then plus 2.31x square, uh, plus 5.2x plus 3.1 so you just have to make sure that the negative that you're using out in the front is this option right not this option uh, on the right side this option at the bottom this is what we need to use and then click on graph this is the graph of the polynomial but we need to set the window so click on window uh, type in um, a negative 3 here type in positive 3 here and then click on graph again so this is how the graph looks for uh, you know uh, negative 3 and 3 so I can see that there is a relative minima right over here and there is a relative minima somewhere over here which I cannot see. So let's click on window again. Uh, in negative side, I don't really need a higher window. Maybe just change this to, uh, oh, uh, okay. So I change this to, maybe just change this to 20. Yeah, 20.2 20 probably, okay. Click on graph again, so there you go. Uh, this is from negative three to three now, I need, uh, a decreasing to uh, sorry relative minima relative maxima so click on <coughs> second option um, click on trace actually uh, click, click on second option and trace so that uh, you can uh, you can find out which option which uh, value you want to trace general trace the minimum so click on three click on enter uh, we have to select the left bound which is somewhere over here click on enter then we need to select the right bound, which is somewhere over here, and then click enter again. So it is telling you the minimum value, which is right here. So I'm just gonna write it on my board. You cannot see the board right now, but uh, I'll just share it in a minute. So minimum value is coming as 0 0.7184. Likewise, I click on second trace again, go in the maximum, click on enter. My uh, left bound estimation is somewhere here i would say and the right estimation is somewhere here i would say and click on enter again so my maxima is 1.986 or 98 up to four decimal places 9859 over here and then they're asking where is the function increasing and decreasing which is a uh, uh, pretty straightforward it's obviously increasing from so let me just share my board again so uh this is how it looks like and the increasing is obviously from this point to this point right that's where the function is increasing so that will be from minimum value which is 0 0.7184 to the maximum value which is 1.9859 and it is decre it is decreasing from negative 3 to uh, this minimum value which is uh, 0. Uh, Oh, by the way, I missed a negative here. So that's a negative value here because obviously at X, X at that point is negative. So negative here. So negative 0 0.7184 uh, and then union 1.98592, the maximum value would be three. In the other case, that's where uh, the function is decreasing as well. All right, similar question. Uh, we need to graph this in the same window and then find the local min, max, increasing, decreasing, and zero. So let's switch to calculator again. All right, so uh, let's type this in. It's a 0.645x raised to four. Uh, here be careful that since it is between uh, the two terms, we have to put a negative sign. So use this option now, all right? So minus uh, 2.67x square and then plus 1.34x and then minus 
line one. Click on graph. This is how the graph looks like. I think I need to change the window, the Y window a little bit. Uh, probably uh, this is going way negative. So let's mark this as negative five. Since there is a false negative, so I'm using this option. Uh, and this could be probably 20. Let's click on graph again. Hmm. I think I have to go more negative. So let's make this as negative 10 possibly. Okay, that's nice. So uh, uh, there are two minimas and one maxima. I can definitely see that. So click on second, click on trace, click on minimum, go here. So minimum is right here, somewhere around here. Let's click on enter. That's one point, click on enter again, click on enter again. So there you go. Negative one point, um, negative 1.551, that's one minima. And then click on second, click on trace again, go on minimum, click on enter, come over around this point. This is the left bound, this is the right bound, click on enter again. So that's 1.291, 1.291, excellent. I need the, the maxima, click on second, trace, maxima, click on enter, come here, which is uh, on the left side, click on enter, click on enter again, then click on enter, which is 0 0.250, 0 0.259, that's the maximum. Increasing, decreasing, we can now very easily figure out, but we just need to figure out zeros as well here. So a second trace, click on second option, zero, uh, let's do this one first since we are closer to the right side. So click on enter here, enter here, enter again. So that's 2.049, 2.049. And on the left side is second trace, uh, zero, enter. Over here we go on the left side, which is here, enter. And right side is here. So the other zero is negative 2.4. Four zero five. So uh, this is how the situation looks like. Uh, we just need to figure out the increasing and decreasing now. So clearly increasing uh, region is this one and this one. So it will be from the first minima, which is negative 1.551 to the maxima, which is 0 0.259 union. Then the second minima, which is um, 1.291 all the way to 3 and then decreasing obviously in the remaining interval so here decreasing and here decreasing so that will be negative 3 to negative 1.551 is the minima union the maxima which is 0 0.259 to the other minima which is 1.291 all right that's the answer all right, over here this is the last question here. There's just one additional thing that they're asking. What is the absolute minimum of uh, this equation? So let's graph this. Right, let's clear this up. So I am starting with the negative. So negative 0.16x raised to 5. Uh, then I have plus 1.07x raised to 4. Um, minus 2.67x square uh, minus 1.3x minus 3.14. Click on graph. So this is how the graph uh, <coughs> looks like. The window is different this time. It's 0 to 6.5. So click on window. X minimum, click on 0 x max click on 6.5 click on graph again all right so this is how it looks obviously i cannot see that y value so i need to uh, change the y window again probably let's uh, take the y max as let's try 50 click on graph again okay that's not coming in i think i'm gonna click on window again let's try 100 this time click on graph again yeah okay coming in so uh, this is, uh, they're asking absolute minimum. So for absolute minimum also, I need to, you know, look at the 6.5 things. I don't know how much negative it is going actually. But let's look at the uh, absolute minimum at the end first, figure out the remaining things. So they're asking uh, local maxima, first of all. Local maxima is obviously around that point, right? So we are going to click on second trace, 
maxima maxima is around here so click on enter and then click on enter and then enter again so there you go 5.079 5.079 is local maxima increasing decreasing for that i need the local minima obviously uh, so i click on second click on trace again <clears throat> enter then i go left uh this is uh somewhere around local minima somewhere around here so enter here and then enter here enter again so there you go local minimum is coming not that they are asking but i need that uh to find the increasing decreasing interval so it's 1.409 then they're asking zero so apparently there are two zeros click on second trace going zero and then one zero is around this point so enter and then enter enter 2.337 2.337 and the other zeros is click on second trace zero uh, right here this is the oops this is yeah this is the left bound click on enter and right bound is somewhere here enter enter again so 6.207 6.207 now for absolute minimum uh, let me set the window of negative x to probably negative 50. Let's see if it works. Uh, I think, yes, let's set it again. I'm not sure how much negative it is going over there. Yeah. So uh, let's call it negative 100 probably. And yes, okay, now I see that the negative, the absolute minimum is somewhere over here. So I just uh, adjust uh, this point over here using the right and left arrow without even clicking trace. So I know that at 6.5 it is negative. So there you go. This is excess 6.5. And this is the minimum value, which is negative uh, uh, 68.293 at x equal to 6.5. Let's come back to our board. Right, so we have filled all these up. Only increasing, decreasing is left. So decreasing till this to the minimum which is here so uh, 0 to 1.409 and then it is also decreasing from uh, okay decreasing here and decreasing here so it is decreasing from the peak peak is i think um there you go 5.079 to 6.5 uh, so this is the decreasing situation and the increasing situation is right over here from minimum to maximum where minimum is 1.409 and the maximum is 